Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosler. I wanted to do a video just showing um, what my CPU and GPU looks like when I'm using one of the experimental um, GPU rendering profiles here on uh, Caden Live. So I just did a video comparing the uh, time and the speed of these rendering profiles as compared to using the more uh, default or normal um, MP4 H.264 AAC rendering profile. So this is a Caden Live 20. I've got these set to always on top. This is 2143 here. And uh, you can see there's still these hardware accelerated. They're still marked experimental. And the one I had the most success with, which I put up to my start area here, was NVENC H.264 VBR. You can see here um, the exact parameters being used. Uh, I have parallel processing turned on and I have um, the encoding speed up as far as it will go while it's actually grayed out. Um, so that's that set up. Now, what I wanted to, I've just loaded here into uh, Caden Live, a test project. As you can see, it's just about 10 seconds of stock footage here. Nothing uh, very exciting from Pexels. And I've opened up my systems monitor so you can see exactly what goes on with my CPU and with my GPU when I start rendering. Now the graphics processor is the GeForce GTX uh, 1050 Ti, 768 uh, CUDA cores and four gigs of uh, four gigs of memory on the GPU. Uh, GPU utilization is at 9% currently. Video engine utilization is at 14%. Um, when you're recording in OBS, that's going to, as I'm currently recording in OBS, that's going to put it a bit higher. So therefore, that's why that's uh, that's where that is. Now you can see, watch my CPU. It's currently I've got four cores. It's an i3, and uh, 21%, 22. You can see they're kind of hovering in the low 20s over there. So watch what happens when I go for rendering. So baseline 8 and 14 on the GPU and about 20 on the CPU. I'm going to overwrite this now. CPU ratchets all the way up to one, almost 100%. And the GPU is working at 14 and 11, 18. See, look at those numbers in the, on the left. You can see the video engine on the GPU is working, but the CPU is always work, also working. Render is done, done now. So the CPU, we're gonna watch it fall all the way back, as you can see on the graph. And the GPU, the GPU video engine utilization is slowing down as well we're now but we're now all the way back to seven percent so that's what i've been noticing um kind of strange uh unexpected that the cpu would be firing all the way up to you can see there in the graph that it was almost at 100 percent across all four cores um so i'm not sure if this is just a reflection of the fact that the gpu rendering on caden is still um if it's using both i was just reading stack exchange a debate on whether gpu rendering some people saying that it should still be using CPU rendering, that there's still a lot the CPU has to do. Other people saying if you're seeing that kind of C, uh, CPU utilization that there is a problem. So I don't know exactly what this is. I can confirm that the GPU rendering is quicker than CPU rendering, um, but I'm still unsure as to why I'm getting those kind of almost 100% utilization on the CPU um, when I'm rendering out here on Caden Live. So I just thought I'd put this up uh, to show people how, what the kind of system resources I'm experiencing when doing these renderings, uh, G, ex, these experimental GPU renderings on Caden.